first day, we're heading out early morning on the Guariba River, heading north from the lodge. And uh, today, we're gonna, my main target is going to be uh, peacock bass and payara, maybe in the afternoon, do some bait fishing for uh, catfish. It, this is just amazing, awesome. The way it's, right now, little to no bugs. And notwithstanding the bat in my room last night, uh, it's been a pretty, uh, pretty good night's sleep. So, got my uh, Jeff Courier trusted fly box, which everybody in the lodge loves. Got everything here packed and organized. And uh, here's today's weapons. Got a, um, a five and six weight fly rods, medium and a medium heavy. Baitcaster, everything, everything is rigged. Everything is rigged, and um, all we got to do now is fish. Later. Only get the good cast. There we go. That's a good hamiso, hamiso boa. Out of peacocky. Must put a piedra, see? It's a boa? Mm hmm. A, a, como se dice sink? A basho. Eh, basho. Oh, but just so a basho? Uh -huh. Oh, this is a good stretch of water right here. Mas uh, devagar or mas rapidinho? Mas rapidinho. Aí. Como assim? Uh -huh. okay. Ah. Well, we're headed to another uh, location. And let's see, it's, the, the, the river is beautiful. Everything here is amazing. I'm just waiting for uh, just waiting for the fish to show up, basically. Stopping at this area where the rocks are over here after Ruben gets the barco situated and I'm taking taking my five weight and six weight. One for a peacock bass here, other one a little dry fly for uh Baku Matrasha, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And uh Ruben's gonna get the boat taken care of. Covered a lot of water along this uh, rocky shoreline. You can barely see the trolling motor sticking out from the rocks. The guide and my fishing partners up there. Beautiful water. Saw a few peacock bass, no hits. Can't see it now, but there were uh, a pair of pink dolphins or boltos in this area. So I'm gonna work my way back with the fly rod back to where my other fly rod is and see what's happening over there but yeah beautiful beautiful serene river just need to dial in for the fish right now so we stopped the boat again at another rock island as ruben rafiq me, I got uh, two bait casters and a six weight fly rod, flies, jigs, and lures. Gonna see what we can get here. I'm gonna try payata in the uh, steep currents on either side of this rock island. So, we got those currents coming through there. And we also have still water here that could be good for peacocks. So, from a fishy looking perspective, we got some nice pools, current running through here, with much faster current running through there. And, uh, almost there, let's see what we got. So we're uh, stopping here for lunch. Gonna make a fire, 
right in that pit. Our, you can see our little our boat was already pulled up here on the rocks but through the trees. And there's one of the other uh, three boats that we're in a group with coming around the bend. The dinner bell has rung. Huh? Here's uh, today's Brookside Riverside lunch. We also have looks like some picanha. Wow, that's a big well, that fish. Well, I'll show you. Yeah, I'll show you. Before you do that, I want to help. That might help. That's a picanha? Yeah. Love picanha. There you go. Thank you. Oh, by the way, you haven't put a swivel on that. That boy's going to get it organized here. <laughs> we yeah, we're gonna have ourselves a riverside barbecue of fresh fish caught by Steve, our esteemed host. Ooh, look what else is that. And picanha. Who caught the picanha? I think they brought it. What in. kind of hook you catch a pecan out? The big one, the cattle hook. <laughs> All right, set up the fire, and we'll be back. It doesn't get better than this eating fresh caught food, certainly the fish, on the side of the river where they were caught. This is absolutely the best river to table food you can get. It doesn't get any fresher or organic than this, even at fucking Whole Foods. We don't, we don't even have a table. Who needs a bloody table? Pistola, con bala. Absolutely fresh, beautiful picanha and fresh caught fish. Those fish come right out of this river. All right, ladies, is uh, food dinner being served? Yeah. <laughs> Maniac. So after a river to mouth or river to table lunch, we're setting up the hammocks uh, for our afternoon naps under the canopy of the rainforest here so all right i'm in my hammock my hedgie and it's, we had a really great lunch and now it's time to take a little bit of shut eye under the canopy because it's just too hot to fish so going to just enjoy well it's the uh, end of day one uh, I would say more of an exploratory day because we had three boats. Everybody went in different directions to kind of figure out what's happening here. This river hasn't been fished in a very long time. The water level's dropping. And so we had a, we had a productive day. Not, not the best, but it was an exploratory day. i absolutely way more confident tomorrow. Today I got a couple of peacock bass, a machuiz na, and uh, some other little fish I forget. I had a couple of shots on fly, fucked them up, as usual, sometimes. But uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Tonight we're headed back to the lodge, shower, beer, dinner, regroup, start all over again. <laughs>